Hallelujah to Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord for another wonderful day that he has granted unto us. By the authority of the word of the living God, we come to you, Spirit of the living God. And today, by your grace and by the authority that is in your word, let Romans chapter 12 verse 2 speak for us. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind that we may prove that which is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. This day I pray that God, you will take authority over our mind. You will take authority over our intuitions and over our intellect. Over anything that is worrying us today, I pray that Lord, you will grant unto us clarity of purpose, clarity of thought, clarity of understanding precision and eloquence during the day. According to your word in Philippians chapter 1 and verse 6, being confident of this very thing, that he who have begun a good work in you will perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. That today we will walk in the confidence of the word of the living God and we will know that you will never leave us nor forsake us. No matter what comes our way, no matter what comes our path, your grace will speak for us today. I pray by the mandate of your word this very day, O oh God, I pray, that release us from every arena that the enemy has touched, that bring challenges and impossibilities into our life. Today I pray that, Lord, you will bring solution to every situation in our life. Let the power of God focus on our direction and remember us today. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray that every area of our life where we are tired of waiting for so long, remember us this day. By your mercy, move us forward and lift us upwards in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This blessed day, I pray by the regions of your word and by the authority and by the precedence of your grace and by the grace that is in your word. Lord, I pray that situations that have made us not to serve you well, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus, by the mandate of your blood, and by the authority in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, this day I pray that you will arrest such situation in our lives. By the anointing of the Lord, I destroy every yoke of loss that is holding our life and holding our destiny hostage. Let that yoke be broken in the name of the Lord Jesus. Today, Spirit of the living God, I pray, empower us to have faith in you during every challenging season in our life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I pray that today you will grant unto us the spirit of an overcomer. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Every bondage of problems in our life, every bondage of problems in our destiny, every bondage of problems in our marriages, in our finances, in the regions of our life that is fighting against our destiny, I pray in the name of Jesus by the mandate of your word. Break it by the fire of the Holy Ghost for us. Lord, I pray, Lord, by your power, cause us, O God, to be at the right place, at the right time, to hear and to see good things that will make us succeed. Succeed in our business. Succeed in our marriages. Succeed in the fruit of our womb. Succeed in the works of our hands. Succeed wherever we go. In the presence of those who are waiting to mock us, O oh God, that it demonstrates your power and make it known unto our lives. And Father, today you will lift us above our peers. Exalt us above our enemies. Lift us up in our families, O God, by the oil of your fire and by the spirit of the living God. Make us a blessing. Make us a well and a reservoir, a fuel of your grace. That, Lord, wherever we go, wherever we will be, Father, let us be a source of favor, a source of inspiration. In Jesus' mighty name, this day we thank you. This is Apostle Dr. Jerry Otting from Global Harvest Ministries Worldwide. Remember, you are a property of the Holy Ghost. Satan, back off.
In Jesus' name, amen.